recognize your friend's face. So get shit, because I'm not a girl. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. We've got the Utah Jazz and the Phoenix Suns. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, they've got Hornacek. Malone is out there with Keith. Then it's Stockton, and it's Russell in at the small forward. Now Hornacek after the missed three from Joe Johnson. Back to Stockton. Malone a screen on Nash. Stockton the pass to Malone. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And the first of many to come. Explosive offensive talent on both sides. And that's the story of the league right now. Most any team can beat any other team on any given night. Now here's Marion. And Stoudemire slams it in. And Stoudemire, a dunking machine out there. Remarkable at getting the position he needs to bring that one home. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Stockton passes to Hornis. Malone a screen on Johnson. Here's Hornacek. Sean Marion grabs the miss. Well, she's up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. Stoudemire with a screen on Stockton. Johnson finds Stoudemire. And it's Utah with the rebound. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Here's Stockton. Russell with it. Sean Marion covering. Pass to Keith. And here's Malone. Six on the shot clock. Second shot opportunity, and he sinks the layup. Considered one of the strongest players in the league, Malone doesn't get distracted by a little contact. Nash kicks to Hunter. High post, Stoudemire. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. First this team. is his first free throw of the game. At the line for your son. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. And it's Utah's ball. Malone a screen on Nash. Stopped in the pass to Malone. Over Nash. Malone's shot. Good. Malone's got six. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Nash with it. Stoudemire with a screen on Stockton. Here's the lob to the hoop. It's deflected. And so Stockton will bring it up for the Jazz. Pass to Malone. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one is on Stoudemire. And Malone, a remarkable power forward. His footwork, incredible. And that jump shot is wet. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And 
and he knocks down the first one. Quentin Richardson's checked in for the Suns. Free throws good from Malone. Here's Nash. The 11-footer. Yep, that one goes in there. You really can't let someone with Nash's accuracy get that close. I mean, he won't waste those high percentage looks. Now here's Stockton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Tips it up. It's good on the putback. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Here's Johnson trailing by two. Nash outside. Back to Johnson. Hunter with a screen on Hornets. Two minutes Johnson off the left rim and out. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. Some changes for Phoenix. Jackson, he's checked in for Johnson. And it's Barbosa in for Nash. Utah also making some changes. Oster Tags checked in for Keith. Anderson comes in for Brian Russell. And Isley subbed in for Hornacek. And here are the Suns now. Trailing by two. Richardson dishes to Marion. One forty-four left to play in the first, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it, and the Jazz making a change here. McLemore is checked in. One forty-three left to play in the first quarter. Here's Isley. The pass to McLemore. Here's Isley. Fires for three. Rebounded by Jackson. He takes it in. Pass to Barbosa. Fires the three. It's good from long range. Such a fast player, Barbosa. Gets the ball, and in just a moment, it seems like his shot is already through the net. Now, here's McLemore. Over Marion. McLemore, no good. Going for that shot in that situation is something that isn't going to help the offense. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. What I appreciate about Malone is he just understands his strengths and is incredible at playing to them. Richardson outside. There's the dish to Jackson. There's the three. Rebounded by the Jazz. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's McLemore. No points in the game yet for him. And stolen by Hunter. Now here is Barbosa. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Such a twitchy guard to keep in front of. But Barbosa draws the whistle there. The Suns have had two chances at the line already, the making them both. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first.
He's off on the second. Now McLemore. Pass to Anderson. Malone right side over Stoudemire. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The Suns on top, up two. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. already in this one but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play and from what we've seen guys from Phoenix what do you guys see they just came into this game with the mindset of sharing the basketball when you keep everyone involved at the offensive end it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well and so Stockton will bring it up for Utah trailing by two. They've got Nash. Richardson is out there with Stoudemire. Then it's Johnson, and it's Hunter in at center. So that's the Suns five as we get into the second quarter. Yeah, you, you gotta love the recognition there. Stockton just so unselfish, always looking to find the open man. And here's Nash. Passes it to Hunter. Johnson surveying the floor. Utah foul. Jack Pornese. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Nash. And the pass to Hunter. Shot clock at five. The fader. That one a little long. Hornacek against Johnson. Outside, Malone. And the foul on Amari Stoudemire. That's foul number two for him. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. And Phoenix making a change. Marion's checked in. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Nash against Stockton. Pass to Keith. Four on the shot clock. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And a quick look at how the Suns' schedule is shaping up. On Friday, the Denver Nuggets will come into town. And then on Sunday, they'll be matching up against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. For viewers, timeout's a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here.
Stoudemire kicks to Richardson. Nash outside. Johnson outside. Lock at six. Releases. Utah with the rebound. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. They now take the lead. Malone's got 14 points. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. The Suns trailing. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Johnson in the corner. Pass to Stoudemire. Phoenix, no good that time either. Stockton passes to Hornison. He kicks it to Russell. Passes it to Stockton. Over Nash. That's good from Stockton, John the Stockton. assist by Russell. And now a four-point Utah lead. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And it's the Suns with the ball. In the second quarter, held scoreless. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Inside. Trying to end the drought. Keith grabs the miss. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. There's a screen to the middle. It's tipped. And now Nash pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And the basket is good. Nash has got his second bucket. I, I like seeing Nash be active defensively because when he is, it creates so much offense for himself. So it's the Jazz now. Only giving up two points this quarter. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. Different look for Utah. Great Oster tag. He's checked in for Malone. And Morris subbed in for Brian Russell. Here is Keith. Corner set with him. Back to Stockton. Shot clock at six. Oster tag, a screen on Nash. That one off the back iron and out. Stockton's gone one of three from the field here. He lobs it up, and the jam by Stoudemire. And Stoudemire, just excellent timing on these alley-oops. It has that great connection with his teammates. Lob it up, and he'll take care of the rest. And so Stockton will bring it up for the jams. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Keith against Marion. The pass to Hornison. 
And here's Morris for three. Another miss by Utah. Nash against Stock. Richardson dishes to Nash. There's a minute 47 left to play here in the second quarter. Ostertag against Stoudemire. Shooting over Ostertag. That's Tim for And Ostertag showing his intensity on defense. A big guy who takes pride in his shot block. So for the Suns, Hunter's checked in for Stoudemire. Jackson comes in for Quentin Richardson. And it's Barbosa in for Nash. The Jazz also changing it up. Anderson, he's checked in for Keefe. Ben McLemore comes in for Hornacek. And Isley subbed in for Stockton. Now, here is Morris. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. From deep, McLemore. He can't get that one. The Suns go the other way with it. Johnson, the pass to Barbosa. Back to Johnson. 107 left now here in the second. Ostertag with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Here's Isley. And Anderson has it in the corner. Pass to Isley. Ostertag, a screen on Mary. To the wing on the left. Now here's McLemore outside. And the foul called on Joe Johnson. That is his first foul of the game. Malone's check in for the Jazz. Coming on to the floor for the Jazz. Carl Malone. There's 42 seconds left in the first half of the game. Johnson outside. Pass to Barbosa. Jackson setting the pick here for Barbosa. Outside for Jackson. And again, it's the Suns missing. On offense, here are the Jams. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Here's Isley. No points in the game yet for him. Passes to Malone. They could use a bucket. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And that'll do it for the first half. Game time. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. 18. Hello, everybody, and welcome. The story of this game orbiting around the clash at the power forward spot. Great battle between these two. They take a lot of pride in how they approach it. It seems like they're playing with extra enthusiasm. Yeah, those elite matchups, man, they can bring the best out of you. Let's shift focus back to the Utah Jazz, who find little separation after one half of play. They've been controlling the glass. I mean, going all out in the pursuit of the rock. You've got to love the physicality. You know what I mean, Shaq? That's right. Elbow sandwiches, that's all i got to say. Elbow sandwiches. Make it fun. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. We're seeing a tremendous game so far from Carl Malone. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. The second half is underway, and here's who Jerry Sloan's got on the floor. They've got Malone. Hornets X out there with John Stockton. It's Brian Russell, and it's Keith in at the five down low. Now, here's Malone over Stoudemire. Kept alive. And it's Malone missing. Oh, here's Marion. 
Marion a screen on Stockton back to Marion good and the assist goes to Nash Marion's got his second basket of the night and Nash really just pure genius in that pick and roll you give him any kind of space and he's going to whip the pass right through the teeth of the defense now here is Hornison he's still scoreless so far in this one Stockton outside back to Hornacek the pass to Russell six on the shot clock Hornacek outside three pointer from Stockton another miss by Utah the Suns leading Nash left side and it's going to be out of bounds the Jazz will take it Utah ball. Richardson he's checked in for Sean Marion Quentin Richardson. Here's Stockton. Hey, yo, right here. Malone a screen on Nash. Here's Stockton. Oh, that's blocked. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Stoudemire against Malone. Here's Nash. And the Suns get it back. And Phoenix with another turnover here. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Utah trailing here. Now Stockton. Malone a screen on Nash. Stockton dishes to Malone. From eight. The basket is good. The assist from Stockton. The assist. Stockton's got three assists now in this one. After an ugly 0 for 4 to start the half, they get one to fall. Now here's Johnson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Nash against Stockton. Count the basket and the foul. They get John Stockton. And guys, the knee has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. At the line for Phoenix, Steve Nash. At the line for one. What you love about Nash, he's a coach on the floor, dictates the pace, always in total command of his team. Now, here is Russell. At the top of the key, Stockton. Here's Malone. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Hey, yo, right Nash kicks to Hunter. They get the rebound. Malone with the block. And they'll keep possession. And he gets it to go. Stoudemire's got the lead up to three now for the Suns. Stockton looking around. Pass to Keith. Over Nash. Malone trying to break free. Keith missing. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Back to Nash. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. And it's a five-point Suns lead. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And that's the kind of bucket they needed Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. And the Jazz called time here. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now.
Jackson has checked in for the Suns. Barbosa comes in for Nash. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Morris is checked in for Keefe. Anderson comes in for Russell. Then McLemore, he's checked in for Jeff Hornacek. And Isley subbed in for Stockton. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Pass to Malone. There's McLemore. Another miss by Utah. No one near him on that one. And I'm not sure why he felt like he needed to fade away. Richardson against Anderson. Two minutes remaining in the third. Stoudemire set the pick for Barbosa. And Stoudemire with the basket on the assist by Barbosa. Stoudemire's got 12 points in the game. A minute 50 left to play in the third. Here's Isley, covered by Barbosa. Isley, the pass to McLemore. Anderson trying to free himself up. McLemore, no good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. I'll tell you, they come out of the locker room. They are a step slow on the defensive end. Jazz trail by nine. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Sean Marion has checked in for Phoenix. Free throw drops from Malone. Phoenix leading by six. Barbosa kicks to Mary. We've got 108 left in the third quarter of the game. Outside for Jackson. Shot clock at six. Richardson, good. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50%. Jazz trail by nine. Passes it to McLemore. From outside the arc, gets the three-pointer to fall. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Marion. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Hammers the alley-oop through. And the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Here's Isley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. And a foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. They get Sean Merrill. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. At the line for two. No good on that one. And the Suns making a change here. Nash has checked in. And he sinks the second. And so here's Phoenix. Puts it up from 12. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. The pass to McLemore. Morris outside. Down low. 
Here's Malone. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Assist from 23 points for Carl Malone. And so it's the Phoenix Suns heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And we'll be back with you shortly. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Phoenix leading by seven. Johnson is out there with Nash. Then there's Richardson. Then there's Marion. And it's Stoudemire in at the center position. She's out there for Phoenix. A walking bucket. Stoudemire is phenomenal with the ball. Scoring in so many ways and so explosive. And here's Utah. Hornacek outside. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Phoenix. The feed to Stoudemire. Plays it up and banks it in. Stoudemire's got the lead up to nine now for the Suns. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And here's Stockton. Anderson outside. Just five to shoot. Kicks it to Hornacek. Get the shot. Next with the block. Phoenix leading by nine. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. They get it back. Marion. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Pass to Hornacek. Pass to Anderson. Just five on the clock. Here's Russell. Sean Marion grabs the miss. Marion's got five rebounds tonight. Johnson for three. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assists. Nash has got his third assist on the night. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. On the wing, Stockton. Defended by Nash. Back to Stockton. Keith with a screen on Nash. And the foul called on Sean Marion. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. Carl Malone's checked in for Anderson. Carl Malone. Passes to Russell. Six to shoot. Here's Stockton. The second chance effort. Keith's shot is good. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Phoenix with the ball. 
following the bucket by the Jazz. Tries the spin move. Man, no good off the spin. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now, here's Stockton. Looking to get it going. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. They get Sean Merritt. When you talk about guys who just know how to play the game, Stockton at the top of that list. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Suns. Well, I've been impressed with the ball moving all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Free throw good, Stockton. There's not a lot of players who see the floor as well as Stockton. A, a skillful passer and a master of the pick and roll. And the Suns making a change here. Hunter's checked in. And Stockton drops them both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Here's the pass to Stottema. Nash, left side. He kicks it to Marion. Malone with the steal. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Malone. Back to Stockton. Keith with a screen on Nash. Stockton, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. At the line for the Jazz, John Stockton. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Johnson with a screen on Stockton. Malone against Stoudemire. Down to five on the shot clock. Stockton against Nash. And the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down to five on the bucket from Carl Malone. And Stockton is simply one of the best, especially when it comes to finding people on the floor. Johnson with it. Three-pointer. Goes back up. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Well, just it's easy to say this guy wanted it more, creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. That's to Malone. Over Stoudemire. And the rejection by Stoudemire. And I love the effort on defense from Stoudemire. More than capable of coming up with a big time block on that play. Johnson against Hornacek. Here's Nash. The shot from the low post is good. And it's a nine-point Suns lead. Utah calls timeout. They're Utah down by nine. 119 left to play here in the fourth.
time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Guys, during that last break, I heard what Jerry Sloan talked to his team about. To be honest, he was fired up. He asked his team, how badly do you want this? Because those guys over there, they're going to give it everything they've got, which means we have to do the same. Let's see if they can match them emotion for emotion. Kevin? Thanks, David. 119 left in the fourth. Hornacek is screen on Nash. Malone in the post. Ready by Stoudemire. Shoots from the baseline. Joe Johnson pulls it in. They can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Just give themselves a little bit of a break. Hunter trying to get open. And it's Nash missing. Stockton against Nash. Stockton outside. Finds the open look, and it's on target. There's 37 seconds left in the game. Johnson dishes to Nash. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Here's Stoudemire. Russell grabs the board. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Utah. Seven-point differential. Good! And now they trail by just four. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. Timeout call. The Suns. They lead by four. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, they're holding on to the slimmest of leads. Yeah, and you can't afford to let that thing get any slimmer. Second team foul. At the line for Phoenix, Steve Nash. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. So he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. Time called here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. They're behind by six. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it.
There's 14 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Hornacek, no luck, and an intentional foul right there. Third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your sons, Steve Nash. Taking two shots. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so both free throws are good, and it's an eight-point game. Morris outside. From deep three-point range, that shot off. So the Suns win it. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alden, this is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Amari Stoudemire.